Hello Aquarius, this is Deborah, Deborah Clare Channel Guidance, and thank you so much for joining me for this reading. This is going to be your monthly reading for March 2020. A couple of days away, we are nearly there. So Aquarius, I hope everything is good in your world. Thank you so much um, to all my new subscribers who've joined me. Thank you. And thank you to all my amazing regular subscribers. Can't speak today. <laughs> Too many readings. Um, but it is lovely to be with you. And thank you so much for being with me. All right. So Aquarius, let's see what the divine has in store for you. Um, there's been quite a lot of what you call game symbology coming through. Um, symbolism, I should say, um, about strategy, planning, um, trying to look at the details of a situation. Okay, uh, Michael is saying to me, rolling the dice, you are ready, ready Aquarius to roll the dice, maybe take a bit of a risk. Okay, um, Michael's showing me the card of the fool. So you could be connected to an Aries, wanting to take a risk with an Aries, or you are wanting to maybe move forwards. But there is a certain amount of trepidation. I'm a little bit worried. What if it doesn't work out? What if my plan doesn't work is also what I'm hearing. <laughs> okay, Aquarius. All right, so let's get our little visual from Archangel Michael. See what he has to say, okay? All right, let's me to settle my energies. Michael, thank you for being here. This is going to be the reading for March 2020 for my Aquarius. What does Aquarius need to know, please, Michael? Energies for March. Thank you for the collective. Okay, Michael's taking me to a playground. <laughs> okay, taking me to a playground. Lots of kids running around, having fun, right? And there's a little boy sitting in the corner. He's not playing with the other kids. He's not having fun. He is looking at a Rubik's Cube. Oh my God, well, that takes me back. <laughs> I don't know if you guys know what this is, but a Rubik's Cube is an old... I think it's an 80s game, which is a square with lots of different colours, coloured squares within it. And you've got to turn the Rubik's Cube in lots of different directions to try and get the colours to match on all of the sides. Um, this guy, this little boy rather, this guy, this little boy, he's about nine, has been trying, 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 trying to figure out a way of doing this, turning things that way, turning things this way, frowning, he's in deep contemplation. Other kids have said, come and play, come and come out, come and enjoy the sunshine, be with us. No, 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 no. I, I need to, I need to really think about this. I need to, I need to sort out this plan. I need to know how I'm going to do this. I need to figure this out. He goes away, comes back an hour later, and he's thinking to himself, I just can't do this, I can't do it, I can't do it. He's taking the Rubik's Cube and he's just about to put it back into his school bag when he thinks, oh, I haven't tried that, that option, I haven't done that. And there's a couple of quick twists and he's done it, he's done it. It's almost as if once he stops looking at the details, once he stops thinking of this as a problem, he actually finds a way of sorting this out, of finalising his plan, is what Michael was saying. So Aquarius, you seem to have figured out a way of achieving something. Um, you could have been in deep thought, contemplation, trying to figure out a way of moving towards your objective. And I think up until now, you felt as if you kind of had writer's block. You kind of felt, whatever I, whatever I try and do, it's just not going to work. It's, I just don't, can't see a way around 
the situation. Okay, Michael's now saying the problem. I can't see a way around the problem. I can't find a way through a situation. And I think now you've come up with an idea that may well work. And Michael's saying an idea that is fair for everyone, whatever that means for you. Okay, thank you, Michael. Oh, little rabbit's taken a dive. There we go. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, interesting. A white rabbit is for luck. Maybe you are feeling that something might happen that could be quite lucky. Michael's saying yes. That's why that fell off. Interesting. Okay. There might be something that happens that makes you realise, okay, actually, now this has happened, I can possibly get what I want. I can finalise this plan. Okay. Wow. Look at all this energy. Two aces, lots of major arcana, and you taking control of a situation, Aquarius. Formalizing a plan to go back to somebody from your past, but fear kicking in. Hmm. Okay, Empress in reverse. Fear of leaving a karmic partner. Fear that there's going to be a very upset emotional Taurus in the mix. But coming up with a plan that you have now realised may well work. Okay, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. What I'm hearing is, how can I leave a karmic partner without losing my money? Could also be connected to a Cancerian. But in this particular deck, in the upright, this is someone who is ready to go. But they keep making excuses for not moving forward or they're feeling that there are blocks that need to be removed. This is you realising that you found a strategy, a way of removing those blocks. Now, underneath that card, we have strength. So unless you found a way of moving forward towards a Cancerian or a Leo, this is you Finally getting that strength, that courage to move forward and to finalise your plan. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys, let's move straight into this. Thank you for your patience. Okay, guys. Do you forgive any noises upstairs? I've got a very noisy couple who seem to be scraping a lot of chairs. Nothing much I can do about that. Aquarius, Four of Cups in reverse is what you have been thinking about. In the upright, this has been something that's been on your mind a great deal. Michael's saying to me something that you have thought that you could never achieve. This is a very big offer. This is an offer of emotional contentment, happiness, a big opportunity for love, real love, divine love. This could be a twin flame energy. Okay, but up until now, you've just been looking at this, trying to find a way of moving into that energy, moving towards someone and accepting 
a new relationship. You have found a way to do this. And this is something I think now, Aquarius, you're ready to act upon because of this very deep soul connection. In the past, we have a magician in the reverse. Aquarius, either you did not manage to manifest this relationship in, or I have to say, for some of you, you may have tried to manipulate the situation to get what you want without doing the right thing, the fair thing. Little bit of strategy, maybe, that didn't quite work. This is also the energy of Gemini. So you could have Gemini in your natal chart very strongly. Or there was a situation that involved a Scorpio that didn't work. After that time, you were healing from heartbreak, stress. What do I do in a situation? How do I heal from what I've been through? There could have been a third person in the mix. Okay, Aquarius. Someone that you fell in love with or someone who fell in love with you. And there wasn't much you could do about this except heal because there was a third person in the mix. Now that person could have been a Scorpio, a Taurus. We had Cancer shown. We have Pisces and we have Libra shown here. So this is the point in the past that you felt, whatever I do, I just have to move on from this. I cannot have this beautiful Two of Cups energy. I can't take this amazing opportunity. I can't. You might have tried to find a way around it, but if that way was deceptive, I think the Divine came in and shut that door, said, no, you're not doing this underhandedly. You either do this the right way the balanced way, with no lies, no deception, or you have to let this go. Pain from that pain. In your thoughts, we have the hanging man. Yes, yeah, so you could be very clearly thinking about a Pisces. Or you are still in hangman mode, trying to figure out when is the right time to put your plan into progress. Because I think you've made your plan. I think you've decided how you're going to achieve something. But you don't know as yet whether or not that plan is going to work and when you should progress with that plan. Because I'm still feeling I'm still feeling that somewhere, somewhere in the mix, there is a third person who is still in the background of your life. Whether you are separated, but not yet divorced, whether or not you are estranged from your partner, but you haven't had the conversation about breaking up. There is a third energy that needs to be managed. Michael's putting that in inverted commas, managed sensitively for whatever reason. Michael, when do we have the energy come through in the immediate future, please? He's actually showing me August. Okay, Michael, nothing before August. July, July, August, July, August. Okay. July, August time. You're sitting in the energy of justice. Now, this could be you potentially winning some kind of court case. Okay. So this could be pertaining to divorce separation, 
This could be something to do with a property. It could be something to do with a child. But there is a sense of you regaining your balance and getting justice in a situation that might have been unbalanced before. At this point, you may be having to connect with a Libra or wanting to connect with a Libra to talk about things. To discuss a plan is what's coming through. Finally, realising a way of getting around a difficult situation. Okay. Wanting to get yourself balanced. In the other person's energy, this may be the person that you are wanting to connect with. They are sitting in the Ace of Wands in reverse. Now, either this is someone who thinks that all you are wanting is a quick fling, an affair. Maybe because there might have been some manipulation in the past, Aquarius. Or this is someone who is not sure that this is actually going to work out. You potentially might have found out that your partner was having an affair on you. Quietly, secretively, and you realise that might have been the right ammunition for you to call time on a relationship. Feeling, that was justice for me. I've been waiting to get out of a connection, didn't know how I was going to do it, and now I know. This might be you using the fact that your partner cheated on you and you finding out about that to get yourself out of a relationship that you've been wanting to get out of for a while. There could be a situation where you connect with someone, possibly this person sitting in the Two of Cups energy, that you are wanting to move forward towards. There may be a standoff. Because the Justice card is potentially you still in a legal connection. So for instance, if this is connecting to someone who is married, you could still be legally married. And this person sees you moving towards them with love in your heart, wanting to make things work, maybe after separating from a partner. But this person may say to you, if you are still legally attached to another woman, I am not interested. Because the only thing in my mind that this would be, would be an affair. No, 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 we're separated. Yes, but you are still legally married. It would be not the right thing to do to have a relationship when you, with you when you are still legally connected to another woman. I am not having it. I am not going to be a mistress. So, Aquarius, you may have a plan. And that plan may be, because remember, you don't want to lose your money, may well be that you agree with your partner that if your partner stepped out and you're unhappy in your connection, that you agree to separate. But you may agree, because you want to keep your money, that you will just separate and stay legally married. But if this is the person that you are wanting to move towards, I don't think that they are going to be very happy with that plan because there's no stability and it will be very easy Aquarius for you to run back to a karmic partner because you are still legally married and this person does not want to be just an option the third woman in a situation that you are still entangled in because you don't want to lose money I don't think this person will have it. 
So they could be a bit of a tricky situation where there might be a little bit of an uncomfortable conversation. I don't think this is going to work. Well, this is all I can offer you. Well, you may be disappointed, Aquarius. It may have taken you a lot to decide to even separate from someone. But if you're coming to this person that you love to say, I I love you, I want to be with you, I could live with you, my partner knows we separated, but I can never offer you a long-term commitment and marriage because I'm going to stay married. I don't think this person's going to have it. That's the problem. And not because they're being difficult, but because we all know, we all know, that that can lead to a lot of heartbreak and pain later on down the line. And you would never be able to be 110% with this person because of another woman, your partner, who you still may be legally married to at this point. In your fears, Three of Cups, you may be fearing that this person is out having fun, meeting people. Maybe this is someone you want to lock things down with, Aquarius. You want to make sure this is watertight. You want to make sure you get this person where you want them in the nicest sense with you. This may be you in the nicest sense, again, trying to control the situation because you're not prepared to offer this person long-term commitment, possible engagement, possible marriage in the future because you are deciding to stay legally married because you don't want to lose money. But you're hoping that that might be enough for this person to accept you as a long-term partner in their life. Worried that if you don't act now, you could lose this person. There could be a situation where this is something that you will talk about with a person that you want to be with. And it may be if they turn you away, then you go to plan B. Hoping that plan A would work, that they would accept you without getting divorced. But I think this person is going to turn you away, not wanting to be an option, not wanting to just have an affair. So, this is potentially with the energy of justice, you realising that you may have to actually take legal, legal counsel, legal action to sever that commitment to your marriage, to be with this person properly. This could be what your plan B is. Okay, that didn't work. They're not going to accept this. Okay, I have to do this. I have to go for a full divorce. You may not want to do it, but it depends how much you want this person. Are they worth the sacrifice? In your hopes. Speaking the truth. This is you hoping that you will get the truth in return. So that both of you have the cards on the table. Open, honest communication. You could be hoping that your partner will allow you to disconnect from them with no drama. But this is you hoping to have a clean break. It may be painful, but I think that at this point you may be deciding that that is what you really need to do. And so in the outcome, Aquarius, we do have you with the King of Swords potentially being very honest, maybe to a karmic partner, maybe to this person that you love, but you are ready to take action. 
You could also be, of course, seeking the advice, the counsel of a divorce lawyer to move things forward, to make this clean break. So here we have the scenario, Aquarius. We have the Six of Cups. This is a very deep soul connection, someone that you want to return to from the past. And we have you, in the nicest sense, kind of hoping that plan A is going to work, that you could quietly separate from your partner and maybe hope that this love is going to accept maybe living with you ongoing. But it would still pertain to be you having to maybe quietly sneak around. And if that is the case, it could well be that you are hoping to detach emotionally from your karmic partner who may live elsewhere, potentially, and secretively have a double life with this person. I don't think this person is going to accept that, Aquarius. What you're hoping for is that with the Nine of Pentacles, you can break free, be independent, and then move swiftly into another relationship with someone else without having to go through the legal process. But I think you will realize with the Nine of Wands that this poses problems because you're not going to achieve what you're hoping for, which is full and open trust and honesty and a deep connection with someone if you are still tied to a third woman. Whoever you are hoping to be with, I'm feeling, does not want to be just a mistress, which they may feel like they are, even if you are separated. This is you realising this is not going to work. So it's up to you. If you want to be with this person, you have to go through the process of properly divorcing. It will be painful. You may lose money. You may have an upset karmic partner on your hand, on your hands, but you would feel the relief of not being in a rather complicated situation involving someone else. It will be a clean break and you too can rebuild together. So, Aquarius, let's move into the Kipper deck. Archangel Michael, can we have your guidance, please? This is for the sign of Aquarius. Energies for Aquarius, please, for March 2020. He wants me to take these. Okay. It's quite a few, but let's see what we have. Okay. We have courtship. This is what I'm feeling you are wanting. You're wanting to court this person, this love. And potentially move things on to a more stable footing with them. Bad health. It could be because you know that your marriage is suffering. You could have a karmic partner who is unwell. And you're realizing that maybe they are not going to get out of this situation. This could be a difficult time if your karmic partner is ill, 
because there would be a sense of guilt in leaving a partner who had some kind of illness. You are wanting to do the honourable thing. You are wanting other people to see you doing the right thing. And we have a lovers, someone on your mind. This is a choice that you have to make. We have someone here who has potentially found out that someone has been stealing from them. Could be that somebody has been stealing money. Maybe somebody who was actually in your family. Now, this could be a karmic partner who was overspending without telling you, siphoning money from your account to theirs. Maybe because they were suffering. If this was someone, for instance, who was suffering depression, a way of relieving that depression might be to spend your money quietly. Maybe quite a lot of it to make themselves feel better. No judgment on those who are ill. Clinical depression is very different from someone who is sitting at home, bored, a bit down, and just going online shopping, okay? This is the energy that I'm feeling. So you may realise that you're in a very bad situation with a marriage that is going under anyway. There might have been a lot of money spent quietly, secretively. Okay, maybe the family is aware. You are wanting to do the honourable thing, making a choice to be with someone that you love. And you are wanting stability with someone else, with this person. But I think the divine is telling you that you should do the honourable thing and that may be the kindest thing for everyone, which is to go through the proper legal separation, division of the assets, so that you are totally free. No baggage, no attachments, no complications, and other people may have to face the music. Okay? I'm leaving it there, Aquarius. Challenging reading. If this is for you, of course, you can reach out down below. Contact me, debraclare.com. We'll see where this goes. Okay? Um, and I shall be back next Friday for your weekly reading. Just in a few days, actually. <laughs> so take care of you, Aquarius. See you soon. Bye now.